is our CM1 that is the fiber optic experiment panel. This PCB is the high speed module. We can remove this PCB and insert this These are the short links provided with the panels. We have to connect these short links to the last one and two written on this PCB. These are the external power supply. We have to connect this positive well, negative well, and ground to the socket mentioned on this panel. There are these four transmitter section which is having red LED, red LED, laser, IR that is infrared and blue LED. This is the selector switch provided for selecting the different types of transmitter that is external electrical red, laser LED, infrared LED, blue. This is our detector photodiode which will detect the transmission from this signal. We have to select this to particular transmitter section, connect one end of fiber optic cable to the transmitter input and connect different uh, other end of this fiber optic cable to the socket provided at the detector. For AC transmission, that is whatever the sign signal transmission, we have to connect this sign signal to the AC input written on this. AC signal that is 5 volt pick to pick sign to this AC input socket provided and we will get a transmission of this signal at the AC coupled output. Similarly, we can select this laser diode. For laser diode, we have to put this receiver gate to the loop and observe the signal at AC output. For TTL transmission, we will give this TTL signal to the TTL input observe the transmission of this TTL to the socket number 21 TTL output provided. Connect 
one of one end of the fiber optic cable to this transmitter section and other end to this receiving receiving section give any ttl signal to the ttl input socket provided at 5 observe the waveform and the ttl output at socket 21 if you are not getting the waveform switch off the master unit and reinsert this module whatever the signal this can be transmitted using high speed module we can change the frequency and see the transmission of the signal this is our cm1 manual we will see the experiment of numerical aperture our numerical aperture apparatus this apparatus is having two stickers that is two scales this is the circular scale and this is the horizontal scale showing the distance in mm that is 50 40 30 20 10 uh, we have to insert this circular scale to this na apparatus box connect one end of fiber optic cable to any selected sensor and other end of this fiber optic cable to this socket provided at this numerical aperture now you can see this emission of light to this circular scale scale provided for adjusting the distance we have to keep the setting of this distance at different settings that is the 10 mm 20 mm 30 mm and the circular scale provided distance at different spaces provided at the circular scale give any input that is the ac input to the socket provided
AC input and observe the output. Now this, you know, using this numerical aperture, we can find out the two distance. That is this, this scale reading, and here the circular reading. That is 10 mm distance. In the manual, the formula provided for calculating this numerical aperture. The reading provided on this circular scale is the our n and the reading provided on this horizontal scale is our m. So by calculating the distances of m and n, we can calculate the n apparatus using the formula provided in the manual. With this M1 panel, we are, we are providing the apparatus that is the bending stack and the coupler. For bending step, uh, bending stack we are having different diameters that is this is 50 mm, 40 mm and 30 mm. With this bending stack uh, fiber optic cable of 5 meter is provided. So we have to connect this fiber meter cable at different different diameters. one end of the cable to the transmitter and other end to the receiver Whatever the bending loss is transmitted, so the bending loss of different diameter can be calculated with this waveform. The output can be measured on the CRO and we can rotate this fiber optic cable to different different diameter and take the reading according to the manuals provided. diameter 50 mm, 40 mm and 30 mm what will be the DC output that can be calculated and using this we can find out the bending loss of the fiber optic cable using this bending loss apparatus. This is electrical interference transformer which induces electrical characteristics into this proper into these waveforms it has two patch cords which we have to connect to the panel and this is our main cord this main cord has to be connected one end of this transformer's wire is connected at four number and other end to the 19 number we switch on the master unit and see the effect of electrical transformer on this CR. if you remove this same effect can be seen on the CR. This is the coupler provided with this panel. This has two ends. One end of the fiber optic cable is connected at this first point and other end to the transmitter. other fiber optic cable to the different end and the other end of this second cable is connected at the receiver. So with this coupler we can find out the coupling losses. If we connect directly this trans directly this cable to the photo detector we will see the amplitude will be increasing but if we connect this using coupler so we will get this attenuation so this coupling loss can be find out using this coupler with this panel we are providing the 
providing the RS232 interfacing, that is PC interfacing, so that we are provided this serial cable 19. The one end of the cable is connected to the socket provided on the panel and the other is connected at the PC terminal. We have to short this, uh, we will do the wiring as per the manual is provided. Each step is provided for finding out the uh, communication between the PC and this panel. That the PC interfacing hyper terminal is provided. So, using this all setting, we can transmit the data from our PC and see the transmission of this uh, through the fiber optic cable. 